Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'll be showing you what's in my Nexus 5. I recently switched back to my Nexus 5 after using an iPhone 5S for the past two months. And well, I wanted to share what apps I use on a daily basis. But before I get started, I also gotta mention that I've already made a full review on the Nexus 5. So if you guys are interested, there will be a link down below. And also in that video, I discuss on how to get five to six hours of on-screen on time. Basically how to improve the Nexus 5's battery life. So definitely check it out. But anyways, as I stated in my full review, the Nexus 5 is the best Android handset that money can buy. And this is why it's my daily driver, because it can do everything well. And Android KitKat is fast and smooth, and it looks very sophisticated. Basically for my setup, I keep three home screens. The first home screen having four main apps, Chrome, Gmail, Twitter, and Hangouts. And yes, Hangouts is my default messaging app because it works well and I really don't have any complaints. I also have the stock clock widget so I can keep the first page empty. I like keeping the first page empty so that any wallpaper can shine through. On the second page, I keep apps I use every single day and that's the NBA app, I'm a huge Lakers fan, as well as eBay, Amazon, The Verge, Google Music, and YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. On the third page, I keep Fandango, Games, Photos, Phone, Play Store, Facebook Messaging, and the Stock Camera app. I also keep a folder titled Others, and inside of that folder, I keep all my bank accounts and my calculator. I also have a few games that I play. I'm not a hardcore gamer, but I do play these games from time to time. My Nexus 5 setup is fairly simple, only with apps I need and nothing else. I don't like having pages and pages of apps because then they just kind of become useless and they clutter up my, my home screen. Not to mention that they eat up storage. For music, I use Google Music with all access subscription. It costs around $10 a month and I believe it's worth it because they provide all that you can eat for a fixed price. The music quality is also very exceptional. My device is a 32 gig device, so storage isn't much of an issue. Also, the case that I use to protect my device is the speaking case, which is very, very slim. It provides just enough protection to provide that confidence when you grip the device. I also don't have a screen protector on my device, but that's because I dislike all screen protectors in general, just a personal preference. I'll have a link down below for those who are interested in the case. And yes, the case provides a lay on the table design. And here's a quick look through all the remaining apps I did not show you guys. So you guys can look through them and see something you might be interested in. I'm not a huge user of widgets, but it's nice to know that I can use them at some point. I also look forward to purchasing a wireless charger in the near future. Also, for those who are curious, I'm actually using the stock launcher. Um, I think that the stock launcher is absolutely beautiful and I really don't see a need to change it. But it's nice to know that you can change your launcher so you can change the look of Android. So if you don't like something about Android, you can definitely change it and make it look completely different. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have a Nexus 5 or love Android in general, be sure to hit that like button. And like always, I'll see you guys next time.